Welcome to Reggie's Corner. For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. this far. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Spirit. Quite a lot. 
All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Alright! Uh, that was a very lengthy intro. Indeed. <sighs> and I think... Honestly? I don't think they would do that these days. That was like a solid five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, even though it's uh, with Chris Barry, so he's very entertaining. Yeah, always. Well, maybe to us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else who enjoyed Red Wolf? Right? Yes, exactly. So, uh, well, we're back with a Let's Play of a great game. Well, if you liked this type of game. Uh, it's one of the mid 90s golden age of uh, adventure point and click games. games. Yeah. And this is the first one in a series of, I think, three or four? Something like that. Yeah. Although, only the, the first two are in style. Yeah, this style and are considered classics at this point. Uh, as you can see, I am not alone. I have, uh, well, one of our most uh, frequent guests, KOD. Always nice to be here. Uh, always nice to have you. And we played this game way back when uh, it happened. It was yeah. So demanding that not all computers could run this game when it came out. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe now. Look at the spectacular graphics. Well, it's holding up fairly well, yeah. I'd say. Uh, it's the classic graphics now. So, this series will be us um, running through the game. Uh, we'll try to... I mean, you kind of have to solve everything in order to beat these games, but we'll probably not read all the dialogues and stuff like that. We'll try to be effective. Uh, but I can recommend if you if you like what you're seeing, uh, it's well worth uh, trying it out for yourself. I would say. I think so. So yeah, if this is something you would uh, like to be a part of, all you have to do is stick around. We'll probably break this up into about 30 minute chunks. So um, I think we should just get to it. Really. Let's see what we can do. Yes. Okay. So uh, first things first. When he's not doing anything, he actually pulls out a Walkman, which is something that people used to have back in the 80s. Maybe even the 90s. Apparently so. Um, I know I had one. Yeah, I think I did as well. They were kind of hot back then. Uh, yeah, so first we have some stuff here, uh, which is well worth going over a little bit. I think the map is actually a map. Um, so I think if we take a look at map... This magical map is used to speed around the game. Exactly. So uh, he, when we have locations, because now we don't, you can use that to uh, quick travel, basically. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And Simon obviously knows he's in a game. He does know that, <laughs> which is kind of nice. The postcard, I think, is the save and load. To save or load a save game. Yes. If you're a complete wimp, then you could use it to quit out of the game. Uh, we're not wimps, <laughs> or maybe we are. And Calypso's note, we already know. Um, so, very short, um, adventure click and point games are basically like this. You have a menu of stuff down here that you can use to combine uh, stuff or use to solve puzzles on screen. So you can see if I hover uh, across some things like this mystic tapestry, it shows up as a little text thing. And you can usually do like a look at. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. Yeah, and that's kind of the gist of it. Yeah, it's about finding the clues, using the verbs and uh figuring out how to combine things in order to solve puzzles. Yeah, and if you're like stuck without a clue, often enough it works by just combining everything and persevering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's cool. It's my little dog, Chippy. Chippy. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I was going for the little... Oh, oh look, there's a pair of scissors in here. And yeah, when you find some stuff, you usually have to do one or two things in order to get them. Uh, so we now have our first item of the game, the scissors, and you could probably look at it, but I don't think it'll do much. Like hairdressing scissors. Yeah. Anyway, 
little magnet. And I like the tingling sound yeah. when you pick something Always up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, wizard stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can do much with that. It must be Calypso's junk. Exactly. <laughs> it's junk. <laughs> so, rather dismissive of that. Yeah. Stuff. Um, that's one of the good things about this game, I think, that he's like not really interested in wizarding stuff, really. He just happened to get stuck in this world and is not pleased. Yeah. He also doesn't believe it's real. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have actually a behind the cottage thing. Um, one other little thing, it's usually a good tip to like hover across the, the screen to see if there's hidden stuff. Yeah. And in this case, we did have something like that. And what is this? A compost. A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't think we can do much here. Uh, but we'll keep in mind that it's here. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to come back. Yeah. That's one of the good things about these games, that there's not very often stuff that you don't use. Like, if, there, if there's a screen with some stuff on it, at some point you'll probably use the stuff. Yeah. At least in the early games, uh, like this. Here's a burly blacksmith. He's very muscular. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't react to that at all. We have a little something back here. So as we mentioned, uh, we played this game back in the day, so some of the stuff we will remember just by recollecting how we did it. Uh, a lot of the things we don't, however. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. Oh, he's very rude. Either way, we can't really do much here. Uh, so, oh, I think we can actually pick this rope up. Yeah, probably. No one will miss this old thing. So we just steal it. You steal a lot of stuff in these games. He's not too worried about the muscular no, Smith either. He is looking in the other direction though. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, this guy. Mm. Look at... Dodgy <laughs> Geezer. A shifty looking bloke selling brick of rack. Should we talk to him? Why not? I don't trust him though. You interested in any crisis antique or some figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grohl. No thanks. <laughs> I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry. Sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots of other stuff though. And there's quite a lot of fourth wall breaking. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of like a thing in this game, I guess. Let's have a look Let's then. Have a look there. Anything on the mat is yours for only one gold piece. See anything? Takes your fancy? <laughs> have some of the worthless <laughs> junk <is. laughs> Not really. Have you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. Genuine, long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um... Alright, five gold pieces. Well... Three gold pieces then? But that's the last of all, what do you say? I don't think we have any money. No, I, don't, I rather doubt it. So let's <laughs> just let's leave the ship to dodge you for now. That was the last of it anyway. Do you see anything else that interests you? No, all the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? It's very rude. Well, so are we. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. So, uh, yeah, you know, we're in the little village, or was it Fleur de Lis? So I think we should just start out by looking around, uh, and I know for a fact that you can pick this up. Yes. Weirdly enough, it's a huge ladder. <laughs> and now it's our huge ladder. <laughs> However, the wagon no. wheel, I think, will not fit. Wagon wheel. I love wagon wheels. That was very random. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try. I think you're very much right. It's too big for me. 
Yeah, that must have been an <laughs> in-game joke. Like, huge ladder, yes. Ladder, no. Yeah. Oh, I love this tune. It's one of the better ones. <laughs> the music in this game is actually fairly good. It's got some of that old Sun Blaster. Yeah, Sun. people who haven't been part of that missed out. Some suspicious herbs. Should we, <laughs> should we have a close inspection on the suspicious herb? They look just like the ones my brother grows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a specimen jar, which is... Specimen jar. What have the moose? It's a papier mache moose head. Why would someone have a papier mache moose it's head? It's too big for me. So, uh, question. Do we have anything down here? Oh, yes. A cold remedy. It's super powered elephant cold remedy. <laughs> elephant <laughs> cold remedy. I oh, will take it. Sure. Needed at some point, yeah. yeah. I thought you could pick up the side. Is there anything by the fireside? No. I think we plundered this little place. And we'll probably be back at some point. Can we go here? Here. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, we had something. A truffle door? This must be an extremely low budget candy house. How come it's not much? <laughs> Is it because it's the fair. door is the only thing that's made out of candy? Can we do anything with the beehive? Oh, we can look at it, I guess. Well. I'm not going too close. Yeah, yeah, I think we're done here for now. Uh, the only thing we have to remind ourselves later is that this place actually exists. Yeah, and maybe it's, it's put on the map. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's um, uh, let's check that real quick. This magical map is used to speed around the game. Maybe you should do... Yeah. So what do we have? We have the village. And, and that's about it. That's it. <laughs> How do you get out of here? Um, used again? Or maybe just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll have to go back and see if we didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think this is from the... No, that's cool. We didn't miss anything. Just the rude geyser. <laughs> the old shop. Whatever. Should we go in? I think we should. Or should we go here first? Maybe we are. Uh, we we might as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Open door, yes. Not the shop. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Uh, I'm not going to let them talk like because they talk for minutes. Quite a lot. Yeah, yes. yeah and, and they're fairly. I'll say it goes you know, here. And I say it Entertaining, I would say. You get but, the gist of it. Yeah, so, um, no if you want to do this, to then you can try it out on your own, because we, uh, <laughs> rather press you? on. No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? A 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me. 30%. Uh, 40. 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? What do you know about sorted? He likes jelly anchovies. And mm -hmm. perfume bath salts. Anything else? What's the square root of 1369? 37. I like how he just knows. <laughs> yep. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. <laughs> <laughs> like to look around. Be my guest. No, no, no. Be mine. He looks... The, the guy with the spectacles kind of looks like Elton John. A little bit, yeah. Maybe that was... Can we steal this? I hand? would like to buy this. That would be two gold pieces. That's extortion. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably what's going to happen with all of the stuff. We don't probably. have any money. Yeah. Might have to. Uh, we have to get money from here or distract them. Yeah. And some other pots and pans. The old clock. I think we should just come back here uh, eventually. We'll have. I think we'll get money at some point. Probably. Or maybe. 
That's one of the things about these games. You're almost never rich. No. I mean, there's only just enough to buy the things you need. Yeah. Apparently, the place is called the Drunken Druid. That's a good name. <laughs> In we go. It's a drunken old. It's a dwarf. <laughs> I was just about to say he's seen better days, but he's probably had quite a good day. Because he has one, two, three, four, five, six, nine bottles. A very dwarfy, very dwarfy dwarf. There's also some kind of electronic arcade machine. Yeah, like just that. a fruit, a fruit machine. machine. <laughs> I yeah. wonder what this is doing here. That's yeah, a good quite. question. <laughs> There's something in... Oh, matches. Yeah. Pick up, maybe? The music is interesting. Very. <laughs> he looks completely out of it. And because he is, and I, I still remember this, I will do this straight away. It's very, very mean. <laughs> it's so not dignified. Now it just looks like a fat little guy. And we have. It's made for real warfare. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we have some new biomal trees and an extra, <laughs> another extra. And the barkeep. <laughs> and the barkeep. Should we start here then? Yeah, maybe. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should use that. Not be so rude. No. So, do you come here often? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here! Oh, that was bad. Yeah, not the right line. Or just the right one. Hi, I'm doing a survey for Warrior Weekly. Would you care to take part? Okay, then. You're not married, are you? No. Anything about the evil wizard sorted? That's why we're here, actually. We've journeyed from the far northern steppes to battle with him through the perilous wastelands of Kring, pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgie the Merciless. Wedgie the, the Merciless? Of death and the fields of doom, where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We're now preparing to attack the sorcerer's tower and save the world. Again! Again! Uh, chap at the bar is having quite a few drinks. But he's still standing, so maybe it's super <laughs> watered down. Or he's super drunk in Canada. <laughs> What's your measurements? I'm a 38, 22, 34, and I'm a 36, 24, 34. Would you like to slip into something more comfortable? Get a grip on your heart. Something for sure. In Northgate, we've never been disappointed. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Goblin flakes and pork sides, sunny side up. That doesn't sound very delicious. What are your ambitions in life? Yesterday we pledged to rid the land of orcs, but we decided it was too easy. So today our ambition is to kill Sordid. 
dye your hair. I use Borg's blood to do mine. And I use troll brains. No more Test. questions, ladies. Yep. <laughs> yep. Better give us a good review. Or else. Phew, it's awfully hot in here. It is. Okay, so we, um... Basically, it said everything that we can say to them. Yeah, for now at least. Learned a few things, I suppose. Yeah. Some of which we might not have needed to learn. Yeah, exactly. The, the dying thing and the troll brains. <laughs> Should we talk to the friendly barkeep? Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Good morrow, lad. Do you know where Flipson was got to? Nah, but then that old geyser is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. Where might I find Calypso? If I were you, I'd look around the forest. He's normally out there somewhere. How come you've got a fruit machine? Very impressive. Fruit machine? It's never made any fruit. I bought it off a bunch of wizards a few months back. They told me they'd sell it cheap. I was a bit cautious first, because they said it had fallen off the back of a lorry. I mean, I don't know what a lorry is, or how high they are, <laughs> so I thought it may have been damaged. I was right, too. It's not plugged in. Plugged in? Into what? Oh, never mind. But it does have electrics from somewhere. Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> How's the bartending trade then? So so, it's been much better since Soda moved into the area. He's boosted my trade tenfold. Well. <laughs> Why? Has he cast some sort of spell over the people? No, it's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So it may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? Poor fella keeps <laughs> It's always himself. there. You like the logic of a part of that. And that's that. So, um, I think maybe we should wrap up the discussion with this guy and then end off the first part, maybe? Yep. Uh, it was a long intro, so uh, looking forward, we'll have a solid six more minutes of gameplay. Um, I think we should just I come from do another one dimension. more questions. As I said, we get all sorts in here. Just not very impressed. <laughs> not at all, really. So let's That's just try for a drink. Now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. And here we could do something, yeah. I'm sure I guess. Because he's clearly distracted. Could we, like, we have the beer barrel, so Where? at some point we should probably try to use it. I can't do that. Can we fill up our jar with a little I'm jar? Sorry, sir. I, can't yeah. I would probably have to try uh, and order something else. Yeah. That's okay. I'm underage but we, I think we should start out the next part by trying some of that stuff. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, because we can just keep on ordering stuff, so yeah, we'll definitely do that. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. See ya. So, that was the first part. Um, we didn't really do much. No, <laughs> we watched a lot of intro and uh, saw a bit of the village. Yeah. Well, almost all the village, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's not that much bigger. I think there's like, too. Yeah. Left. And we uh, ended up in the bar. That has a tendency to happen. Yeah. So, you know, it's a good place to end up. <laughs> it's a good place to start off the next one as well. Um, yeah, so far so good. I mean, we only done 20 minutes, but yeah. it's looking, looking promising. I don't remember that much, so we'll probably get stuck here and there. Yeah, we'll loop around the yeah. forest a bit, I think. Yeah, this it's a big forest, but at least now we have a map. That's, so that's true. Good. Anyway, I hope that you find yours out there had a reasonable good time, and that we'll see you again in part two. Until then, have the best of times and all good stuff. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it or want to support the channel, please hit either the like or subscribe button.